Hey, what's up guys? So today we have a device which is the first device to get OIS. And this is Nokia Lumia 920, a flagship device from Nokia, which released back in 2012. I really like the design and this one is actually one of the best design I can say. And it looks very good and it still looks modern. As you can see here, and it got all the flagship features of 2012. It was really ahead of its time. It got a lot of things, neither of the top companies offering back then. So let's turn it on. The big question is, can we use this device in 2024 or not? So as you know, Windows Phone is long dead. As a big fan of Windows Phone, I really want them to be back in the business and just make it something which can run modern applications. It will be enough for me so as you can see the device is booted up first of all let's talk about the specs of this device although it's not really that much useful but anyway so the display here is actually 4.5 inch it's a clear black display 720p but does look sharp and still looks very good so we do have a bgf front camera and back as you know it got ois carl Zeiss lens and in this camera is actually 8 megapixel and we got a dual tone flash it the flash is really good here and also we got wireless charging on this device nokia is one of the company which adopt wireless charging very early and also it got 4g support 1 gig of ram 32 gig of internal storage but you can't really put an sd card here but 32 gig is enough for this kind of device the device flies on windows 8.1 currently this device is running on windows 8.1 and i can update this device to windows 10 it's pretty easy but your device must be updated to windows 8.1 update if you really want to update your device to windows 10 so as you can see here my device is currently running on windows 8.1 but the requirement for windows 10 update is windows 8.1 then there will be a windows update another writing here so if your device is windows 8.1 update then you can update your device to windows 10 right now if i search for update it will get the update and i can update the device to windows 8.1 but sometime the update might not work in that case you have to push the update i did make a tutorial about it if you really want to update your device to windows 10 you can follow the tutorial i will put the link in the description by the way let's talk about this device right now so as you can see i have a lot of application here and i did unlock the bootloader of this device Unlocking bootloader is pretty easy for this kind of device. It's pretty easy and you can like sideload almost all the old games and application here. We did get a lot of games here as you can see. The games actually works perfectly fine for this device because these games are older games and I just sideloaded them and those are working perfectly fine without any issue. So the main thing of this device right now is actually camera. The camera is such a gem actually. It works flawlessly even today. You can see here. And there is a shutter button too. So you can light press to focus and just click one more time to take the picture. And you can check the picture quality of this device. It's so good actually. It's so good. The front camera is pretty average. And also you can shoot 1080p videos up to 30 fps. So the camera is actually really good and the OIS support is there. So the video quality is pretty stable. I did take pictures and videos with this device for the 2012 device. The pictures and videos actually pretty good. And one thing which I miss almost in all the flagship device right now is the way manual mode works on this device. It, you just need to slide. If you go with modern device, like so if i show you on my galaxy s22 if i open the camera if i want manual mode i have to go to more and pro then the manual mode will start so it's a really big hassle but in lumia you just have to swipe the manual mode is there so it's pretty pretty damn good actually and the manual mode does work on video mode too so you can just swipe and you will get manual focus and also few white balance so it's up to you and the camera works flawlessly still works fine there is two camera application actually one is nokia camera other one is basic camera application 
which also working perfectly fine no issue with that as you can see here it works but it's not really that much fun to use like nokia lumia camera application Rather than that, you can make phone call and messages. Mostly I use this device to play my older games as you can see here. And the gaming performance is really good because these games are pretty old. So they works flawlessly on this device. And also the music actually is really good on this device. I really like the music application here and also the way it works. And if you want to use earphones, it got Dolby Atmos feature so if you use your headphone you can listen by enabling the Dolby Atmos and it does enrich the sound quality a little better than the usual one so the phone is still working running very good and if you really want to browse on this device browsing is the one thing which you cannot really do on this device but still I did install UC browser and Opera Mini so if I go with Opera Mini right now it's working perfectly fine no issue with that it's a old browser so most of the page it cannot load but facebook as you can see here it can load the old facebook and you can still use the facebook here even gmail is working sometime you can log into the gmail but sometime it will not allow you to log in but works and there are a few other things but you can search actually so if I want WAP trick to load right now and one more thing about this device I really like is that the keyboard the keyboard is awesome on Windows 1 so as you can see it loaded the WAP trick and it could not able to load properly so that's the issue you will have with this device right now rather than that it works pretty good actually it's, it's a damn good device it works flawlessly the sound quality is also really good it let me give you a trial of the sound quality of this device so if i go to the ringtone nokia tone and it's pretty loud and it's really good so it works fine actually for a secondary device maybe you can consider you cannot really browse on this device you are pretty much stuck with a device which you can like play f games listen to the music and make phone calls and do text messages beside that you can't really do anything with this device so it kind of really good if you want to go away from social media or anything like that uh, pretty much stuck with the basic phones I think this could be a really good device for those kind of uses and one more thing you have to keep in mind that because it's a old device the battery backup will not be really great and it's really heavy device it's not really lightweight besides that you also got always on display on this device so double tap to work is working perfectly fine on this device it works flawlessly actually on windows 8.1 windows 8.1 is pretty damn smooth on this device because of its one gig of ram and dual core processor works flawlessly no issue as you can see things seems to be working flawlessly if you really want to get one of these nowadays maybe you have to spend about 15 to 20 dollars for one of this device but anyway that's all about this device lumia 920 i really like this device i did make a video about this device back in 2022 but it's still really good device and works flawlessly so that's all about lumia 920 thank you very much for watching and i will see you in the next one